Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to The Rising of the Shield Hero, Season 2, Episode 3. And in the last episode, not too, too much happened. Really, all we did was sit down with all of the nation leaders of the area and try to come up with some sort of a game plan to take down this spirit tortoise. And so, after a very long and grueling discussion, we finally got everyone on our side and apparently everyone is going to be taking like different roles. Some people are going to be manning the artillery, some people are going to pull up with their like dragon riders, or I don't even know what to call them, they're like ground dragons or like lizards or something. So we have all of these people and their entire armies on our side right now to help us try to take down this giant spirit tortoise. And and on top of that, we have a brand new member of the squad, at least temporarily. And I don't remember her name exactly because apparently she like went by a name before, but she also gave us her true name and her true name, I don't know, it's hard to remember. It's not a typical like English name, but I guess she's like the disciple of the spirit tortoise. And the reason why in episode one, she told us to kill her is because I think she was more trying to ask for us to kill the spirit tortoise because right now he's kind of going on a rampage he's acting uncharacteristically and so we need to stop him before he causes any more destruction and hopefully we can finally get to this fight in this episode right here so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick i would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly shield hero reactions but with that a lot of the way let's get right into this episode all right so here i have episode three pulled up but real quick before we get into it few quick things first one is going to be if you would like to check out my uncut reactions to shield hero you can find them over on my patreon which all of you guys can join for as low as two dollars and not only do you get access to all of my shield hero reactions but also a bunch of past series and all future anime that i'll be reacting to on the channel on top of that, if you would like to be notified whenever I drop a brand new reaction, make sure to click that big red subscribe button. It only takes five seconds and it is completely free. And then lastly, do not forget to head on over to the Cloud Crowd merch store. Link to that will be in the description. We have two different designs for you guys to choose from, so you can pick whichever one you like more and support the Cloud Crowd today. But whenever you guys are ready, we will be starting this episode in... Three, two... One, go. All right. The rumbling. Oh yeah, weren't they like, I don't think they were woken up, but during their little chat at night around the campfire, they were uh, disturbed by like this shriek. Oh, and this is the spirit tortoise. The one we've been waiting for. Dang, the time has come. Let's see, can we take this thing down? And look, all the nation leaders are here. He's making his move. Okay, so they are dragon riders. Oh, and the cavalry. Um, Those guys are led by the sword master, right? The sword instructor? Sappers? What are sappers? I guess we'll find out. Are they like mages or something? And they're gonna try to sap the energy of the tortoise? Or I don't know what the heck a sapper could be. Whenever I think of, like, sapping, I think of, like, draining. Shaking land. Alright, it looks like we're about to make our move. Okay. Messenger?
Interesting. Dude, I have a feeling this is going to be a crazy battle. And it still sucks that the other heroes aren't helping us out. They kind of just ditched us. Even though they heard about this massive threat that's been destroying entire kingdoms, they were pretty much like, not my problem, and just walked away. Yeah, we gotta hurry up before Philo gets hungry. It's time! Dang, what the heck are we even gonna do to this tortoise, though? Like, even with this massive army, even with all these swords, are we even gonna phase it? Ooh, I like these heavily armored knights in the back, though. They look pretty cool. Alright. Oh, man, I love how they kind of set the atmosphere, too. Like, it's foggy. We have no idea where it is yet. Oh? Oh, okay, okay, that's our flag. Look at that. Look at that. We're over here inspiring these guys before they charge into battle. Hey, hey, pay attention to what's in front of you, man. <laughs> you don't know where he could be right now. Although they could probably hear him. Like walking forward since he's so huge. Yep. Oh? Oh man. Here are the bats. This is the first wave. Teamwork. Dude, that's like the embodiment of this episode. The moral of this episode is just teamwork. Look at that, we're over here uniting nations against a common enemy. This is so sick, dude. I can't wait. But, I mean, uh, I feel like it's not gonna happen now. I feel like it's far too late into the game, but I was really hoping that the heroes, like, the other three heroes that kind of rejected this at first would come in last second. Because I thought what they were actually doing is like walking away saying not interested when in actuality they were gonna go over there themselves and try to steal the glory but it seems like they're actually just losers <laughs> like they're actually not gonna help man that's so lame their whole like purpose as heroes is to defend the people the people that can't defend themselves and yet, all these heroes care about is themselves. So, it's a little disappointing. I think it'd be cool if all of them actually, if they kind of tricked us, they made it seem like they didn't care at first, and then they swoop in last second. There's still a very, very small chance that they can come back, but it seems unrealistic that they would show up now. After not having shown their face at all since episode one. But we'll see. Look at all those dragon riders, man. That's a lot of bats, too. We got this. She already knows. Oh, taunting them! Okay, okay, that's clever! So we're gonna steer them away. So now what's the plan from here? Are we gonna take them all out in one blow? Once they get close enough? And their goal is to lure the spirit tortoise away. 
Oh man, here are the catapults, the ballistas. Dude, I said this last episode, and I'm so glad someone in the comments saw it too. This feels like a whole Monster Hunter, like, battle, dude. In all of the games, there's one massive monster you have to fight, where you can't actually use your weapons and stuff. You gotta man the ballistas, the catapults, you gotta use the Dragonator. This feels just like that, man. Because this isn't someone you can take on yourself. You need a whole army to bring this guy down. And there it is. A whole mountain on its back, man. He's big, but he's not as big as I thought he would be. Alright. Now we can finish off the bats. It's time! Whip out that key! Ost Hodai, that was her name. It's such a hard name to remember. Ost Hodai. Oh! May the gravity- Oh, so now they're gonna fall like flies. Oh, man. <laughs> That's so sick! I'm glad she's on our side instead of against us. Oh, okay, here are the gorillas. Now we can bring him down. Let's see if we have any effect on the turtle. We're firing everything we have at it. Ooh, okay, we are doing some damage. I didn't even think we'd be able to like penetrate its skin, but I guess really it's just the shell that's the durable part. If that's the case though, I think, ah, oh, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe we should go for the eyes, but that might just make it angrier. What the heck was that? What? This man just turned into energy. Ooh, okay. Granny's got some moves too. Philo, of course. Blowing away the competition. Naudicia. Dang. Yeah, we only made it angrier. These are probably just like a bunch of mosquito bites. Well, no, because he felt actual pain. They'd be closer to like... What, splinters or... Like bee stings? Yeah, there's no way that's a mosquito bite. That had to hurt. Oh! Wait! His leg is actually so injured, he can't even stand on it anymore. At least their efforts weren't in vain. They're doing some real damage here. Oh, man. This is bad news. Is he gonna blow it? Let's go. That's a big explosion. Let's see how much damage it did. Oh, it worked. Oh, but... That was like his... His final stand right there. Alright, so we did some real damage to the turtle. Hopefully it was enough so that we can go in and finish him off. Oh, I forgot about the dragon rider! Oh, this is... Oh, I got a really bad feeling about this. 
I feel like they're just running into the danger zone because, like, what are they going to do? Run in and slash its legs or something? They're just going to get flattened. What? Is this like a prophecy or something? Oh no. That does not sound good. It will fly. Oh! Ooh. A long range of so oh my god, it's a porcupine now? I mean, of course this isn't a no- this isn't a normal turtle. But like, dang. First turtle bats, then turtle rillas, and now... Uh, this is like some magical spirit turtle porcupine. Jesus. Jesus. That almost destroyed us. Yeah, I'd say retreat at this point. It's way too dangerous. What is this? Like, <laughs> they keep looking at the turtle's legs, and then they're just like, oh, I got it, but... Oh, wait, hold on. I see! Okay, okay, so this is the plan they've been thinking of. Finally, they let us in! I was over here wondering what the heck they were so surprised about. So if they get close... Then, they probably won't be hurt by the... By the spines. Or thorns, I guess. Maybe they're trying to get to the underbelly. That might be the safest spot, since it can't walk anymore. Ritual magic. Nope, oh, it's going for another attack. Dang, man. This is such an uphill battle. Like, these are just normal guys. Trying to take on a freaking spirit tortoise, man. That's known for wiping entire nations. He's still going. Oh my gosh. All right, the mages are in position.
No? Okay, what the heck is this? Oh my god, man. We just can't get a break. We just can't get a break. Turtle bats, turtle gorillas, turtle porcupines, and now this is like a turtle chimera. Alright, let's try to charge past it. Oh? Oh, the Dragon Riders are gonna take him out. Okay, okay. Let's go. This seems like a task that they'd be, uh, much more likely to handle as well. Ooh, man. Dude, she is awesome. She is so sick. She's putting everything she has into this, but like a gravity magic, shielding magic. It's so cool. Here it comes. Judgment. That's the incantation that they used with the, yeah, with the Pope. I was just about to say, if the Pope was here, he probably could do some damage to the turtle, but... Wait, did it actually pierce the shell? Oh no, that was... It's neck. Dang, man, these guys have terrible aim. If it can pierce that well, then why didn't they go for the head? Here we go. Let's try to see if we can make this cut deeper. Oh my gosh! Oh! <laughs> There's so much blood, dude! I feel bad for the turtle. Now we just cram a shield in there. <laughs> oh no. This is our trump card. Is she gonna push the shield in deeper or something? Oh, she's energizing him! Oh, snap! Oh! I mean, our plan is to cut the head off, though. I completely forgot about that, so it makes sense. And now... Jesus Christ! <laughs> And they split through it, finally. Oh, look at the- Oh my god! Oh man, you can see the muscle and stuff. Oh my gosh. This poor turtle got butchered. Man. I feel so bad. Just because, like, you know, the turtle- He's not doing this of his own volition, right? I think they mentioned that he was being brainwashed. But I guess if I were the spirit tortoise, I'd probably want someone to stop me at all costs as well. So. Who knows? Looks like we accomplished it, though. Without the need of those other clown heroes. This is why now Fumi's the goat. Yeah, she's gone. She definitely put in work. She was a real one, man. Wait, she's still here? Wait, how? What? Is she the new spirit tortoise or something? Oh, what? What? No way! No way! What in the world? How? How? Why? What? The 
<laughs> oh my god! I am so mad right now. I am so mad right now, dude. You're telling me we lost all of those lives. We used all of that manpower, all that energy, just to kill a fake? I mean, it kind of makes sense. Because when I envisioned the spirit tortoise, I imagined something much grander than the enemy we had to fight here. But, dang, man. Even this, whatever it was, maybe it was another familiar? Maybe it was the son of the spirit tortoise? I don't know. But even this thing was able to cause a ton of destruction. So... The fact that this wasn't even the real deal, ah oh man, that means how the heck are we going to take out the real one? But I wonder, like, what even could be going on? Did the spirit tortoise clone itself? Is this another familiar of the spirit tortoise? Or is it still alive even though we cut its head off? Maybe. I have no clue. Ruins in the fog. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and I honestly, I don't know how to feel after that, man. I just hate how casually they brought that up. Like, Rishi is over here bawling her eyes out at the fact that Ostodia might be dead, and then she just shows up and hands her a tissue. And when she, like, wipes her eyes, she's like, Oh yeah, I'm still alive! I guess that means you didn't take out the real spirit tortoise! Oh my god. And they didn't even hint at, like, what the heck this thing was. If this is a fake, or if this is a familiar or whatever, or maybe, like, the turtle can exist even with its head being cut off, and maybe it's just gonna regrow another one, dude! What if it grew two heads in its place, like, on some Hydra stuff? That would be insane. That would be so crazy. But, I don't know. I guess my question of the day for you guys is going to be, what's your theory as to what's going on here? And if you've read further into the manga, what was your theory when you got to this point? Because I think this could be a number of different things, but I believe... Personally, that I think the turtle's still alive. I think it's still alive even though we cut the head off because I don't think there was any like 100% confirmation that if we cut the head off it would die. I think we just assumed if we cut the head off it would die. So I think it's still alive, but I'm sure there are some people out there that might think that maybe this was a fake turtle, maybe this was just like a, a minion of the actual spirit tortoise that he sent forward to scout or something, who knows. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I am going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. Now we'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.